If you use WhatsApp or know anyone that does, then this video is seriously important. Recently, we had the iPhone issue that allowed anyone to bug an iPhone. All you had to do was to make a FaceTime call to your victim and you'd be able to listen in on their conversation whether or not they picked up. But a recent WhatsApp hack looks a whole lot worse. This literally all came out earlier today, so I'm making this video as a PSA to help get people to update their currently vulnerable phones. Plus, we'll also take a look at the bigger picture. So the lid on this was blown by the Financial Times, reporting that a backdoor had been found in the latest WhatsApp versions on both iPhone and Android. This backdoor is pretty scary in that all it takes to be infected is to receive a call from a malicious individual. Even if you don't pick up, an attacker would still be able to install spyware on your phone. It's even been suggested that targeted individuals may have even had their call history wiped, so there's no way they would even know they had been pwned. So this whole vulnerability works via a buffer overflow vulnerability in WhatsApp's VoIP stack, which allows remote code execution using a specially crafted series of packets sent to a target's phone number. The vulnerability itself is said to have come about due to a bug in libssh, an open source library used by WhatsApp. Though if you're interested in any of the technical details and even how a buffer overflow attack works, I'll leave some details and a video from Computerfile in the description. Once compromised, a device can be loaded with spyware to go through your photos, past messages, etc. Essentially, once compromised, it, it, it's all over. WhatsApp released a patch for this yesterday, so if you have the app, and there's a good chance you do, given 1.5 billion people globally use WhatsApp. You should go ahead and open your App Store, Google Play Store, whatever the hell it is you use, and update WhatsApp as a matter of some urgency. The latest version of WhatsApp on Android is 2.19.134 and 2.19.51 for iPhone. So at the time of recording, even my phone is vulnerable. It's been alleged that the malicious code was developed by the NSO group. And here's where it gets a little spicy. NSO is a company that creates and sells spyware, and, and not on a small scale. Based in Israel, they advertise their services to Middle Eastern and Western governments with the intention that their spyware will help fight terrorism and crime. Though if, if that doesn't sound slightly dubious, their flagship product is called Pegasus, a program that can monitor a phone's microphone and camera and do all kinds of nasty deeds. This has recently been sold to countries like Saudi Arabia, which, let's be honest, don't really have the greatest track record when it comes to human rights. It's not really surprising that other countries, such as Mexico, are thought to have tried to infect journalists with this Pegasus spyware. And even just this Sunday, a human rights lawyer's phone was targeted, unsuccessfully, mind you. But get this, this lawyer, who remains anonymous, is embroiled in a lawsuit against NSO, representing Mexican journalists and Saudi dissidents. He or she is suing NSO in Israel, alleging that the company shares liability for the abuse of its software. It really gets your noggin joggin. I mean, unless a rogue state is engaging in hacks on behalf of or to protect NSO, the finger really points to NSO themselves in the hacking of this lawyer, which, which would be pretty big news and we definitely haven't heard the last of this. Alas, things are never as simple as they seem, so I do reserve the rights to be wrong here. NSO is fighting a battle on another front. Amnesty International is pleading with Israeli courts to rescind NSO's export license, which allows them to sell their services to other countries, such as Saudi Arabia. They make big claims though, such as alleging NSO's products were used by the Saudis to track and trap individuals such as the murdered journalist Jamal Khashoggi. And look, there's, there's obviously a lot going on here, and I haven't had time to trawl through the nitty gritty since I wanted to get this video out today whilst many of you, including me, are walking around with vulnerable phones. Maltronics.com is where you can find the latest of hacker hardware, from Wi-Fi deauthors to Malduino keystroke injectors, Wi-Fi keyloggers, and USB protectors. It is run by myself, so do give it two minutes of your time. You're guaranteed to like our tech. Maltronics.com, link is in the description. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to let me know by subscribing, hitting that like button and notification bell. And as always, stay tuned for more hacking videos. Have a good one.